the Ethereum blockchain is home to a vast range of economic activity, from NFT markets and games to the growing DeFi ecosystem. Ethereum is well suited to this activity because it's compatible with smart contracts, which can be used to build a vast range of applications. However, the growing popularity of these applications adds many transactions to the Ethereum blockchain, and as a result, transaction fees also known as gas can sometimes rise to the point where making small or frequent investments can be economically unviable. Okay, so let's take a look at Polygon, a layer 2 scaling solution or sidechain that's emerged to provide faster transactions and lower costs for users. It acts as a speedy parallel blockchain running alongside the main Ethereum blockchain. Today we will be discussing Polygon, we would look into what they do, how it works, their use cases, and the tokenomics. But before we continue, kindly hit that like button to help us get this video to as many people as possible. And if you a fan of Web3 and technology, then subscribe to this channel, we have amazing content for you. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, what is Polygon? Polygon is a layer 2 or sidechain scaling solution that runs alongside the Ethereum blockchain, allowing for speedy transactions and low fees. To use it, you can bridge some of your cryptos over to Polygon and then interact with a wide range of popular crypto apps that were once exclusive to the main Ethereum blockchain. Now, how does this work? You can picture Polygon as being like an express train on a subway. It travels along the same route as the regular train, but it makes fewer stops and thus moves much faster. In this analogy, the main Ethereum blockchain is the local train. Polygon uses a variety of technologies to create the speedy parallel blockchain and link it to the main Ethereum blockchain. To create new Matic and secure the network, Polygon uses a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, which means that one way you earn money on Matic you hold is via staking. Therefore, because they use the mechanism they use, there are two vital players in this network, which are the validators and the delegators. The validators do the heavy lifting, they verify new transactions and add them to the blockchain. In exchange, they may receive a cut of fees and newly created Matic. On the other hand, delegators stake their Matic indirectly via a trusted validator. This is a much lower commitment version of staking, but it still requires research. If the validator you pick acts maliciously or makes errors, you could lose some or all of your staked Matic. So, how exactly can you use Polygon? The Polygon network allows you to do many of the same things the main Ethereum network allows, but with fees that are often a fraction of a cent. You can try decentralized exchanges like QuickSwap or SushiSwap, yield generating lending and savings protocols like Aave, NFT markets like OpenSea, or even no loss prize games like Pool Together. Guys, let's round up by looking into Matic. Polygon has its own cryptocurrency called Matic, which is used to pay fees on the Polygon network, for staking, and for governance, which means that Matic holders get to vote on changes to Polygon. Matic has a total supply of 10 billion, with a current circulating supply of about 9 billion, and a current market cap of about $6.6 .6 billion, while selling slightly below $1. To be honest, Low fees and near-instant transactions make the Polygon network an excellent way to gain some real-world experience trying out DeFi protocols. Remember that DeFi can be highly volatile, so start small and don't invest more than you can afford to lose, especially as a beginner. However, there are many similar projects in the blockchain space that offer similar features, some of which we have discussed on this channel. Do take the time to check them out. In today's ecosystem, they are not alone, Solana has gone past them, Ton is moving fast enough with a huge community around it with so much other competition. Will they survive in the long run? I am not sure, but they need to buckle up. Well, let me know what you think about Polygon's growth over the years in the comments section. Guys, this is not financial advice, only for educational purposes only. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Share and subscribe to encourage the work that we do. Don't forget to check the description below for our Telegram channel link, where we would be sharing fascinating crypto information. Till I see you again, stay curious and keep learning.